Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up and run Focus on Google Colab. Focus is a great and easy to use interface for stable diffusion. And for those who may not have a powerful enough computer, Google Colab allows you to use it for free. Go to the first link I provided in the description. We'll be needing it to get started using Colab. Then, scroll down to the Colab section. The first thing we want to do after we've gone over everything is click on the Open in Colab link. Once you do this, it will open it up in Colab, but we don't want to just use it from here. You could, but if we make any changes, which I'm going to show you how to do, they won't save, and you'll have to keep putting those in. The best way is to click on Copy to Drive. You'll see it's now showing up as Copy of Focus Colab. I can come in here and just click on that and open it again. At this point, we can just go ahead, hit the run button, and everything would run, and we'd be running focus. I'm going to show you more information on what you can do to customize or change some of those things because you're probably going to want to do that at some point, maybe not the first time you run it. The first thing to understand is how this works. When you hit that run button, these first four lines tell it to set up the environment and it clones focus from GitHub into the folder on Colab. Every time you go to use this, it has to go through that process of cloning, bringing everything in, downloading any models or anything like that. It doesn't save all that. So just remember, any folders, any files, those things will be destroyed. But when it's completely done, when you're done using it, they won't be there. The last line tells it to launch focus with the settings that it has here in the flags. If you want to change those, if you want to use just the built-in presets, all you need to do is go from the GitHub page. You can use these. Just copy these presets and paste it. You can click on the code button to add more lines. Once the lines are created, paste the presets there. You can add multiple presets, but you can run one at a single time. So for example, you could take the anime style preset from their GitHub page and paste it in, as well as the realistic option preset. And now, depending on which one I want to run, when it comes time, I could run the standard one or I could run the anime one here. So, a lot of the questions I see people asking is how do you get a specific checkpoint onto Colab? The easiest way to do is to add the code there and run it. Just paste the code I provided in the description and you are good to go. So in here, we want it in the content folder in focus, then in the models folder, then in checkpoints, and then the file name. That's how you'd set up the saving of the file, where it's going to save it, and the name. Then you put a space, and then we're going to have the actual address for where we're going to download from. Now, we're on here, you do not copy just the address from up top because that's not the address that you want. If we look here, you'll notice they're totally different. So, the easiest way to do this that I find, if you first want to get the file name to use, you can just click on here, click download, copy that, hit cancel because we don't want to download it onto our computer, and we can go into here. And that's where I would paste in the file name. I could just paste it in there, or you can just type it in, up to you. And then in here, we go on the download button. We can right click and copy link address. And we go in here, I would just go ahead and paste it. And that's it.
Now when we run that, it's going to go ahead and download that. It starts cloning the focus. Now, remember, each time we do this and run this, if I come back the next day, I'm going to have to do this again. And it's going to have to go through this process again. Now, this usually only takes maybe 15 to 30 seconds to do in my experience. Okay, it's completed. So now focus has been cloned and it's set up on Colab. If we go over to our folders here, you'll see there's a focus folder. See, we're in the content folder already, and in the focus folder you have all the standard stuff for focus in here. And I will show you, you can interact with these files. Okay, so now that we have it cloned, if we were to start it now just by clicking on one of these, it'll go ahead and download what we need for that and download the default models. But the default models are not necessarily what we want, so let's say we wanted to have other models available to us. Well, we've now set up this checkpoint. Once everything is completed, you can hit on run. Once you've hit run, sometimes it will not show the downloads taking place in the background, but you can see at the bottom of the window that it is executing the command. I'll just skip ahead until it's nearly completed. Now it's showing it's completed. We can verify this by going to the left hand side and selecting the folder icon. Go to models and then checkpoints, you should see these two folders there. Yes, you can see that the models are added in the checkpoint folder. As the checkpoint is added now, we try running the anime preset code. As you can see, it started running. It will take some time for it to run. Keep in mind that every 48 to 72 hours, these will automatically delete if you're using the free version of Colab. So you will need to rerun these commands the next time you use it. Once the execution is completed, you will see a Gradio link. You need to open that link. You need to use the link that says running on public URL. You can see that the link is working perfectly, but it is showing some error. We will verify whether this is working or not you can play around with the settings available there. In the model section, you can see that the Juggernaut files are downloaded successfully. But I still wonder why the code execution doesn't show up. Anyways, we will check whether the link is working or not. Just enter your desired prompt here and click on Generate. As I have set the preset to Anime, I am using a prompt related to Anime character. Once you hit the Generate button, it will take some time to generate the images. you can see that the images are generated. Now we will close the link. Even after closing the link, you can still see that the codes are running. To close the process, click on the stop button the button in which a circle keeps on going. It will take a few seconds to stop.
I like to clean that up. I'll close those. Okay, now for Laura's, how do you install those? Well, it's the same idea. Just copy and paste the code I have provided in the description and you are good to go. This is the easiest method to install LoRa, but if you want to install them manually, you can do that too. Just open the files in the focus, find the LoRa option under the model section and open it. Now you would drag and upload the LoRa files here. As this is not an efficient way to go about it, I do not have the files downloaded, but this is just simply what you'd do if you did. Also, as we are manually uploading these files to the folder, it will take more time to update as the files will be large. It depends on your internet speed. Also, like the same way, you can also upload files related to wildcards. Files related to styles and files related to the presets. As it takes a lot of time to upload the files, I will prefer the code method always. Once the code is entered, click on it and run the code. It will also take some time to run. Once the execution is completed, you can see that the file is saved to the path we provided. Now to check whether the LoRa is installed, or not click on any preset style you want and run it. Previously, I have used Anime Preset, but for now I want to use Realistic Preset. While everything is downloading, you'll get this error message telling you that the GPU is not in use, and that you should switch types. You can safely ignore this. Once the code is run successfully, you will get the Gradio link which we have used earlier. Click on the link and open it. Now click on Advanced and click on Models. In the LoRa one you can see the name Leather Armor. It is the name of the folder we have created for LoRa. This means that LoRa is successfully downloaded. Now we will try to create a realistic image. I'm giving the same prompt as I used earlier. Once the prompt is entered, click on the generate button and wait for some time. While the image is being generated, you can see the entire process in the Colab. Also, you can see how much disk space and how much RAM it is using for this process. The images are now generated. You can see that these images are looking like realistic images.
Now we will change the model and check whether the focus is working correctly or not. I have set the model here to Anime Pencil Model, and I am using the same prompt for this image too. The images are generated successfully. You can see that these images are looking like anime art images. So this shows that our models are working correctly. You can click on the images and click on the download option to download these images. You can also use another method to download the images. For this, you need to open the folder and click on Output. In the Output folder, you can see the folder with the date of the image creation. Open the folder and you can find the list of the images that are created on the specific date. Right click on the image and click on the Download option to download the image. I will prefer the first method anyways, as it is easy. So this is how we set up and run Focus on Google Colab. If you find this video helpful, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.